Here we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Kilted Balls. We are here. We are here. And I was thinking the other day, I really, I want to, or maybe we need to find something and pay them to go through and get all of our intros just all right in a row. So it's intro after intro after intro after intro. That'd be awesome. Don't you think that'd be amazing? I think that'd be amazing. And so. super fun. Yeah, and super fun. What is the little green thing by your right arm? Green yellow thing. What? Oh, that's the no, the other arm. Other arm. Other arm. That's the pedal for the Peloton. Oh, that's a pedal. From this angle, it does not look like a pedal. So it had the clip on with the shoes and stuff, which really hurts your feet <laughs> if you don't have those shoes. If you don't have those shoes, I bet uh, that would hurt. So I just bought like the basic pedals. Nice, nice, sweet. I'm not that hardcore where it matters if I'm really pulling up or not. So nah, you don't need all that jazz. I still wear the bike shorts though. Oh well, that's good. You should. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just excited that you are wearing shorts at all, and I feel like today. This makes me look like I've got like an old man chin. <laughs> well, you're getting there. That's not exciting. What's this? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> I know I gotta be like this for now. Hello, everybody. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so last go. time when we met. As soon as we got offline, mm -hmm. I remembered thinking that one of the things I wanted to talk about was like just the importance of making connections. I talk to people about that all the time, and I don't mm -hmm. know if we've talked about it that much, but I was laughing thinking about like the guy you met at the horror con who then's at your place, who's doing all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm like, people forget like making connections is huge. Yeah. And you know, you make the connections, you give them a little water and fertilizer, and they can grow into amazing things. Yeah. And I think about, we don't talk to them too much anymore, but like, I think about like the Hideous Laughter podcast, right? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. part of the inspiration for our podcast, like it wasn't them, but they were doing a podcast. They still yeah. are. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And like, we made a great connection with them. And I'm like, oh man, that was like so much fun. And I just think about all the mm -hmm. connections we make throughout our lives and stuff. And I'm like, man, like people really need to foster those. I think especially in today's day and age, it's so easy to like ignore them or forget them. And I think it's yeah. kind of important. It's funny. I what's the, the saying is what people come in your life for a reason, a season or a lifetime. Ooh, so a reason or a season or a lifetime. You don't know like why things happen, you, you know, that, that sort of thing or you know sometimes it's a little longer and sometimes it's you know, like you and i you got lifelong friends and right and molly bean no you can't stay up here <laughs> molly bean is uh hopefully a just a reason that we don't have to go through a whole season yeah, that's a good kitty. <laughs> but uh, yeah I, think I was just thinking about that saying this week with with all the all the excitement that went on and um if anyone should, should we all cover that real quick? Yeah, go, go. Do you want to, did you sh already share with me that you, that you could, um, that you could share, that I could share my screen? I didn't think of it, so I have to oh, log oh, on real quick. You want to share your screen with us? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that'll be easier. Okay, so all participants can share. Okay, sweet. Okay, okay that's not what I was looking for. Why Boom. Is that like you that? can now share, good sir. Okay, cool. Not me. So Kilted is about to share screen, kind of excited. Oh, here we go. That's what I wanted to do. I'm gonna go back. Okay. That's so this is great, great podcasting, which we've done before, where we're just like not really paying attention. So <laughs> long story, long story short, we had we had talked about it. And uh, you know, my uh, my friend came out, was able to do some oh. stuff. 
the 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 kids were the kids you know they weren't around and and Gina didn't have like the full picture you know we kind of talked about some things a little bit so <laughs> <laughs> you know it's all good and this is the one this is the one I want so oops. okay so we talked last week about explosions that was the theme of our podcast and uh, I'm assuming you're about to show us some video of that yep. I am. I need to share screen. I'm gonna share this screen. So this is my friend James. Uh, we we his, don't see um, anything, just so you know. I have to click one more button. There we go. Oh, there this we is go. my friend James, James Balsamo. Okay, this I is see for James. karate cops too, but he'll fill in a little bit. I can't hear him. Oh. Oh man. Oh man. Does he have like fangs? <laughs> how do I how do I share the I don't volume? know. I don't know if you can. Okay. I don't know if I, you can. I heard it in my ear. If you go to James <laughs> Facebook, you can see that. He just said he says I'm James Balsamo and I make action movies. In there might nice. have been an oh 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 doo doo in there. <laughs> oh doo doo. Can you show it again? Oh, oh man, show it again. Oh, show it again. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Like and people couldn't track that that fast. They're all like checking out James half the time. So we're looking over okay. James's shoulder, people. So yeah, go back. Yes. So we're we're standing up on the we're standing up on the berm mm -hmm. by uh you know and that's the that's the warehouse to the right. Yep. And uh, press play. He said, here we go. And then he says action right here. It was, it was <laughs> louder than you would think. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of stuff crashing down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, you could see it fly straight up. Oh my goodness. So yeah, those were the explosions we were talking about last time. And so... People on Spotify, I know you don't get to see it, but it was a uh, car blowing up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looked so like from was, an action movie. <laughs> it, it, yep, and it's going to be an action movie. It's going to be a lot of fun. So um, long story short, you know, the police were there, the fire department and all that stuff. So that all worked out. We did get in a little trouble for um, for illegal dumping is what the, is what the ticket was for. Even though they took the car away, I guess the the smoke and everything was not wonderful, but it all worked <laughs> out. The uh, everyone was really excited to see it, like the, the firefighters and the police, and and everyone was really excited. So it was a lot of fun. It was awesome to it, like you know, basically we spent all week together. So nice. it, was, uh, it was a really good time, you know, just like hanging out and doing doing some fun stuff. So and that's from a connection calling. that you made, just like hanging out at a convention right yeah and it was someone like like i said last week i was just impressed that he was still working you know still doing his sales thing and mm -hmm. you know i haven't seen him a few more times he just seemed like good people so i just i just reached out i had i had uh basically a service that i could offer like hey you know i would love to share this space with you if you mm -hmm. ever need to film so his movies are fun. If if you're if you're looking for like super serious movies, you don't want to look it up. But uh yeah, he does he does some fun stuff. So this will be for Karate Cops too. I think it's uh gonna be out next month. He's talking. So nice, nice. Keep an eye out. And the Karate Cops one is not on IMBD, correct? It is not. It was well, not <laughs> technically released yet. They had a showing for it, and our friend was looking for it on IMDb. It's not that Karate Cops. It's a different. It's not that cops. one. Different Karate In the Cops. Seventies. So yeah. <laughs> that is so terrific. Uh huh. Man, yeah, I was thinking about like all the connections today. I've been working with lots of different people this week, and I was like, the web we weave is like so big and so intricate, and it's mm -hmm. just amazing to me. So. And I always tell like kiddos, like that's a really important thing. Make as many connections as you can. Just keep making them. It's awesome. Speaking of all of those connections, I filed mm -hmm. run for county commissioner today. So it's been announced first on the oh, Kilted Balls you? podcast. Yeah. So you know, I have I had my choice exciting. of news channels to release that information. 
And I chose the Kilted Balls podcast to release that information. So, yep. Great idea. I know, right? Yep. Going for county commissioner. Um, the guy who's been doing it for, I don't know, a long, long time. He's kind of getting older. And I was like, you know what? It's time for some change. So I'm going to run for that. We'll see how that all Clinton goes. County? That is Clinton County. So who knows, people? You may have like an actual elected official on here, you know, later on after November. So that is awesome. That is that'd awesome. be fun. Right. I mean, I'm already an elected official in a few different spots, but this would be real. Yeah. And this one, they don't have to change the rules to keep on electing you. Right. Right. Well, I mean, really, (laughs) I changed the rules. Maybe I'll change the rules for that one, too. I don't know. Yeah, you never know. You You never know what I'll do. (laughs) That's hilarious. I mean, it's good to be able to make rules and change rules, I think. Mm -hmm. So. I think that's important. <laughs> Life yeah. is easier, so and you get to control. So, the what does that what does that entail? You're like, do you go to like, like the con- like do you try to talk to the Congress like that are making rules for the state? No, no, no. So, Congress. So, when you're a you're county just... commissioner, you're basically in charge of your county, right? So, okay, that's like awesome. think like all the stuff that affects your normal daily life. That yeah. nobody pays attention to, right? Like everybody, like even now, it's still, I find it irritating. Today is primary day in Michigan. So, you know, people going out and voting. And mm-hmm. I still find it irritating. Like people are all worried nice about like Trump and Biden and Biden and Trump. And they're like, mur, 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 mur. and you've heard me say this before, but to the rest of you, like they affect you, but not as much as like your state government, not anywhere near Mm -hmm. as much as your county government, nowhere near as much as even your city government or your school Mm -hmm. boards. Like, and I remember teasing people back way back when George W. got elected. Like Mm -hmm. I had friends who were just like crying, like, oh my gosh, the country's going to end. George W. got elected. And I'm like, it's, it's really not that big of a Mm -hmm. thing. And they're like, it is a thing. Mm -hmm. It's going to ruin the world. And I'm like, really? I'm like, who did you vote for for drain commissioner? And they're like, yeah, <laughs> they're like, what do you mean? And I'm like, drain commissioner. It was on your ballot. It was a contested race. Who'd you vote for? And they're like, I don't know. Who did you vote for? I'm like, I don't know. I go, that's the point. You don't know who you voted for. And they're like, well, what did they even do? I go, they control all of the water exit intake, everything in your area. Kind of a big deal, right? Like they're in charge mm-hmm. of all yeah. of that stuff. And you don't even know who you voted for. Like you don't know where they stand on the issues. You don't know if they're <laughs> going to dig up all of your roads to make new drainage ditches. You don't know how oh, they're going to ban. No, I want, the, want everything to turn into a big lake here. <laughs> I'm like, come on. Like you don't know anything. And they're like, uh, I go, how about your county treasurer? Like the person who handles all, all of your money goes to the county treasurer and then they disperse. Uh, I'm like, right. Like, you don't even know who that person is. I go, how about the person who literally yeah. runs all of your elections, the clerk? Oh, we mm-hmm. vote for them too? Yeah, you vote for them. Mm-hmm. And you cry about election <laughs> fraud, and you don't even know who you're voting for for the position. I go, let mm-hmm. me guess. You just look to see if it was an R or a D, and that's who you voted for. I'm like, that's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's just dumb. So that's my rant, people. You get one rant. Nice. In episode, oh, that's my, my rant. Right? You used it up way too early. I know we use it up. L- pay attention to the other people on the ballot, the ones mm-hmm. that are actually able to affect your life immediately. Yeah. Right. Because they, mm-hmm. they can and they do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> like my friend, my friend EB does a lot of, you know, I'm on a Marco Polo channel where he talks about a lot of stuff. And he's like, these, these third parties, and there's a couple of them who have a couple small spots here and there. But he's like, they they go for the, the presidency. He's like, why don't I see these people as clerks, as, you know, part, you know, positions in the states and in the counties and mm-hmm. work your way up. Show people what you're doing. Don't just run for presidency every time and, and well, have no yeah. effect. And, and the silly part is we talk about this a lot, like in my county, you know, because I'm involved in a little bit of politics here and there. And we mm-hmm. talk a lot about how. 
like I, I do a lot of interviewing of candidates to see if they'll get my support or not, right? Like people mm-hmm. have come and they'll meet with me and I interview them. And I laugh about it all the time. And I laugh at people like outside of there. Like, why would you care? Let's take the drain commissioner. Why do you care about their stance on mm-hmm. abortion? <laughs> like literally doesn't matter for that job. Right. <laughs> Why do you care about their stance on, you know, a hundred different things mm-hmm. like their gig doesn't involve that. They have no effect on that. Right. Like I remember the register of deeds. I'm asking him like about union stuff and he's like, yeah, so this and this, and he had great answers. I'm like, your answers are great. And he's like, thanks. I go and when do you think you'll ever have an opportunity to put any of that in practice? He's like, uh, never. Like I, I filed deeds. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, right, right. Like literally it's not a thing. So Mm -hmm. why do we, why do we care? Why do we give them D's and R's? That's my Mm -hmm. thing. Why do you give them D's and R's? It literally doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. What you should be looking at is do they have the ability to do that gig? Not what Mm -hmm. their ideals are. Can they do the gig? right? Like you're prosecuting attorney. That's an elected position. Why do I care if my prosecuting attorney is a D or an R? How about instead I see if he was a good attorney? Yeah. <laughs> like maybe maybe mm-hmm. that should be more important mm-hmm. to that election, <laughs> right? Like how good of an attorney mm-hmm. were you, right? Yeah. Did you agree with what he was doing as an attorney? Because you have choices. You have choices. As an attorney. <clears throat> And would would you have hired him yeah. as your attorney? Because if you wouldn't have hired him as your attorney, why are you voting for him for prosecuting attorney? Now, mm-hmm. FYI, I did hire him as my attorney. <laughs> <laughs> and so he got my vote, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. He didn't get a lot of campaign funds for me because I was like, I already paid you. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you all my money. I'm like, I gave you my money already. You're like mm-hmm. charging me a ton. So. Mm-hmm. So did like, you, uh, go, talking about that kind of funny, because remember when our friend who's running yes. in Congress, she's like, oh, she's like, your congressperson's really nice. And she was joking. She's like, you might want to be careful now, you know, blah, 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 like implying that she could make my life difficult. Well, when we were talking Thursday and she was wondering if I just stumbled across that video or like like the season, the stuff behind it. I said, no, it's at the warehouse, and I need you to reach out to my congressperson for me. <laughs> did, you hear, did you hear me say that? <laughs> what did she say? She did, and I don't think Jay, I don't think anyone caught it except me. I thought it was hilarious. No, when you said it, I heard you say it. Yeah. And I, I couldn't hear her response. Thing. She was too yeah. quiet for me to hear. Yeah, I couldn't hear anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm really hoping she wins only because I like her stances on lots of stuff. Mm-hmm. But I I think she would have like prosecuted you. Yeah, she would have prosecuted me for sure. She would have been the pissed off one. There was one guy she that was really pissed off. he was. There's so no fun off. here. There's he's no like, fun. Kilted. He's like these idiots. Like <laughs> we're like oh well. I mean everyone's okay and it, we did you know everything with that we thought we needed to do and. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fine. It's there's fine. One guy who was super <laughs> There's always fun police, right? There's always fun yeah. police. Yeah, cuz I mean and, and backing him up like some like someone had said it was something that it wasn't. So so there were extra cops who were scared and thought they were coming into something completely different. <laughs> not not you know, some people making a movie. Right, right. You know, doing borderline really dumb stuff. Well, because normally when people are making movies and stuff, they pull permits for their movies. Yeah. That was maybe a slight oversight. The the backstory for this, people, is he was telling me about this. I'm like, did you pull permits? He's like, you don't need permits. I was like, ah, you're going to need a permit. For that, was, sure. that was on the episode last week. We do know how to do that next time. Yes, Actually, I yes. thought about calling up. I thought about calling up and saying, hey, this is Jeremy. Remember me? Like, what, what do I need to do to get a permit? We're thinking about doing this again. 
Yeah. Well, you got to say you're a filmmaker. Like, hey, we're not some like hooligans out blowing do. stuff up. <laughs> That'd be fun. Right? Like, <laughs> yeah. hey, I'm not a hooligan. I'm a filmmaker. We're filming here. So, yep. so we, it's funny. we just need you to know. And most of the time, most of the time, they're super cool, right? Like, they might say, sorry, we got to have a fire engine on hand. But I have found, like, yep. the fire department that's is exactly like. exactly what it was. Yes. I have found they've been super good. Like when I'm like, hey, I'm going to do X, Y, Z. They're like, all right, whatever. Just make sure we're there. <laughs> Did I lose you? Oh, no. Poor Kilted is frozen, my friends. At least it froze in a good spot for him. So one of the negatives of Kilted's new domicile is he has like horrible internet. And it's not like horrible like all the time, like this is where our miners are. So the miners are always running and always connected. But poor Kilted, he gets on there and uh, loses connection all the time. But the miners keep going. So it's something about the bandwidth, poor guy. So, yeah, so that was the fun thing, people, was my new candidacy. Um, and hopefully that'll be a fun, fun little trick. The other thing, oh, man, we totally lost him. The other thing that is... Uh, interesting going on with Kilda and I, and I don't know if you follow this, but I just said about the Bitcoin miners, but all the prices of our crypto shot up the last few days. So life is kind of good there. If you've been following that journey for all of these weeks, started, uh, you know, we started back when it was like 40, 50, and it went all the way to 60 for Bitcoin. And then it dropped all the way into the teens and we kind of kept mining and kept going after it. And now it's in the high 50s again. So it's back almost to its all-time high, which is super exciting for us because we've been mining Bitcoin. Though I've started to sell on the way up, which is always a good thing. Also, my busy season is almost done, and that's super exciting. And I did realize that I look like a headless person here with my black shirt and black background. So that is also fun as well. Hmm. So it's sad without Kilted here. We'll probably call an end to this episode so you won't have to hear me rambling on. Um, as Kilted would say, we love you all. And continue to make those good connections. Reach out to us and make connections with us. If you're hearing us for the first time, give us like a comment. Give us a shout out. We'll shout you out. So again, we'll increase our webs and uh, just be awesome together. So have a great week. And this is Ballbuster signing off.